friends welcome back to my channel cast and home and thank you so much for joining me for today's video today i am sharing something a little bit different and i am actually doing a q a but i thought we would start it off with something a little bit cozy kind of stray away a little bit from the christmas content while still doing something that brings me joy during this season so i'm just starting off by getting my gingerbread house parts ready i will go ahead and list the ingredients and the amounts down below in the description box but once this is done we're gonna sit down decorate this gingerbread house and answer all the questions you guys had for me i asked you guys over on instagram and on my youtube community so i'm just gonna sit down enjoy decorating this house answer all your questions and this is definitely a long video so go ahead and make yourself some coffee some tea or grab some water sit down and just enjoy this video i hope you guys like it as always if you guys do please let me know down in the comments if you have any other questions let me know down in the comments but as always i hope you guys give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you guys in just a bit And real quick before we get into the Q&A, once your gingerbread dough is ready, if you decide to do this house or you decide to just bake some cookies, you're going to go ahead and divide your dough into two equal parts and just wrap them up with some plastic and allow the dough to chill in your fridge for up to four hours. That is the best time. I waited three hours to be honest and it was quite good enough, but I definitely suggest just waiting the four hours and then you're just gonna roll it out and cut out your shapes the kit that i am using i got from amazon and it comes with all the shapes for your gingerbread house so i will link that down in the description box for you guys Once all your shapes are ready, you're just going to go ahead and bake this in the oven at 350 degrees, anywhere from 8 minutes to 15 minutes, just whenever you see that your cookie is already golden and a little bit dark around the edges. That is when you can take it out, allow it to cool off completely before you assemble your gingerbread house. Okay friends, so I have my gingerbread house right here and I'm gonna start decorating as I answer some of the questions you guys had for me over on my Instagram post and on my YouTube community post. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Sorry if I'm not looking at the camera, but like I said, I'm gonna decorate this as I'm answering them. And the first question, just to get it out of the way because it was the most asked about, is if Jonathan and I are planning on having kids if we want kids if we're gonna have kids anytime soon and to answer that simply yes we do want to have kids we want to have a little baby um 
we first wanted to accomplish certain things in our marriage and just in life in general and i think we finally got into that point where we're both feeling like we might be there even though i don't think you're really ever ready for a baby but i think we are and at least i would like to think that we are so hopefully sometime this year we're at least gonna start trying hopefully and just god willing we will see where that leads and whenever god wants to send us a little baby this year or whenever that is when that shall happen but yeah that was the most asked question so i just wanted to get it out of the way uh the next one kind of tying into that is how jonathan and i met and we actually met at the state fair uh unintentionally we were not there together but he went with his cousin who was a friend of my friend group and when we saw them there we kind of approached her and he was with her and that's basically how it all started um uh, we didn't start dating right away in fact that night he stole a kiss from me and i i just i'd left uninterested <laughs> to say the least but a few months later we started dating but that is how that happened we dated for about a year and then broke up and then we broke up for a while and when i was 16 is when we started dating again so i met him when we were 13 dated for a year and then broke up started dating again when i was 16 and we actually got married when i was 18 so we got married super young jonathan was 20 he's two years older than me so he was 20 when we got married and i was 18 but that is how we met next question is will you ever go to college and get a degree so i actually have gone to college i have my bachelor's degree in business administration and management with a concentration in entrepreneurship so that is what i went to school for and what i have my degree in i also have a minor in spanish um, as well so that answers that question next up uh what do you put out after christmas so i'll basically just remove all of the red and like all the whimsical christmas touches and just leave all the greenery and like more neutral decor so more of a neutral wintry vibe is what i'll do and you guys will start seeing those videos coming out soon next question is if this is our forever home it's beautiful thank you so much this is not our forever home um we actually want to start building a house. We want to build a home, hopefully this year. Um, if you guys don't know, my husband is actually a contractor. So we have been pushing off building our home for the past few years because of all like the major price increases in the field of construction. And per my husband's advisement, obviously, because he sees it firsthand and gets to experience the cost of everything every single day but hopefully things are going back to normal and we'll be able to start this year and we are hoping to keep this house as a rental so that is our plan and we will see hopefully we can what inspires your design style i have absolutely no idea i think what has inspired me is just learning to be honest i think your style or your like way of decorating is something that evolves with time i definitely have seen a change in my style this year primarily because i am doing youtube and i think i've been able to dedicate so much more time and thought to it but other than that i think maybe just like trends and just what i'm attracted to or what i see myself gravitating towards i think that is how i determine my style but to be completely honest i don't think i have it nailed down yet and I, it's something i would like to nail down because like i said if we do build our home um i would like to know what my style is so i know how to design it properly but yeah what are your goals for your youtube channel so my first goal with my youtube channel is obviously just to make it grow um this is definitely a creative outlet for me and i absolutely love doing it so if i can grow it to a point where it's sustainable or where um 
yeah like where it's sustainable and where i can get something more out of it than just me uploading videos i think that is a really important goal so financial wise i guess is what i'm trying to say but my other goal with it is to just grow it in the sense that it gives me a platform that i can fall back on to open a business so i actually want to do some type of you know home decor business i'm not sure if i want to do it just primarily online or like what exactly i want to do but that is basically my main goal i've always <laughs> Or not always. I think Jonathan has had a lot to do with this. But I went to school for entrepreneurship because I just kind of knew that I wasn't looking forward to working for someone else my entire life. I kind of always knew that I wanted to have something for myself. And that is basically my goal with YouTube is to be able to do this for myself. And yeah, I don't know. A lot of goals that I can talk to you guys about, but like I said, primarily is to build a platform or just a base where I can probably build hopefully a bigger business out of it later on eventually, but that is my goal right now is just growing it and building it. Okay, next question is if I'm Mexican or where I'm from. So I was born and raised here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Both of my parents are from Mexico. They're both from Chihuahua. So I am Mexican-American and honestly, I love it. I think that being brought up with two cultures has been amazing and I wouldn't trade it for the world. So to answer your question, yes, I am Mexican, but I was born and raised here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Okay, next question is where do I find inspiration or who inspires me? So I think I find inspiration all over me. <laughs> Primarily, I think on the daily, like daily, I find my inspiration in my husband actually because just watching him get up every single day and head to work knowing that he has such like a heavy work day and knowing that he's his own boss, he's a business owner and just watching like that determination and drive every day, I think it really inspires me to get up every single day and just go at it. Um, but that's a cheesy answer, but it's, it's, the honest truth um besides him i'd have to say just different people um when it comes to youtube i'd say i have a few girls that i look up to here like allison bickerstaff kaylin cash um i can name a few others but i think just seeing where they've been able to get their youtube channel to and see like their beautiful videos and their content just truly inspires me to continue going and getting up and filming um and yeah i mean i think i can talk about inspirations a lot because i think i have a lot and i have plenty of role models in my life so yeah just staying in the realm of youtube i guess that is who inspires me okay and next question is if i talk in spanish with my family if i talk in spanish and if i have if i plan on talking spanish to my future kids and yes i do speak spanish and between me and my siblings and me and jonathan and his siblings we primarily speak english most of the time but with my mom and like his parents and his family we will always talk in spanish i do plan on teaching our kids how to speak spanish so yeah i just think being bilingual is so important and i'm so lucky and blessed that my parents made it a point to keep our second language in our life so they made it a rule growing up that when we were at home in front of them we would speak spanish and my mom taught us a lot of spanish like reading writing wise because when we were in school obviously we were in school and we were learning english and speaking english so 
I think they did a really good job at helping us keep and master both language. So yes, I definitely plan on teaching our kids how to speak Spanish. Okay, next question is what what was the job you did prior to getting laid off? So if you guys don't know, I got laid off probably like two months ago and I was actually a um, influencer marketing specialist. So I worked basically on the other side of YouTube. So for the company that I worked for, I did influencer outreach and campaign creation. So just... To make it simple, I was basically the one reaching out to different influencers, recruiting different influencers, and having them, you know, do certain campaigns to promote our brand, paying them, all of that. So just the other side of what I'm doing right now, which was awesome. I absolutely loved my job and it was it was such a good job to be honest it was a flexible schedule it was something that i enjoyed doing i got to have so much like knowledge in this field that i would otherwise not have that has been super helpful now that i'm doing this full time so that is what i was doing then okay next question is if i'm a christian and so i don't know i struggle a lot with this question because i honestly don't know what it means i don't know if it means like if my religion is christianity i don't know so i was raised a catholic or in the catholic church i currently do not practice it by going to church i obviously believe in god and i have a relationship with god but I don't currently label myself as a particular religion and that's just a personal choice that I've made. Okay, so the next question is why did I get married young? So like I said, I got married when I was 18. I met Jonathan when I was 13 and ever since I was 13, I remember when we broke up, I was crying and I my mom was like, you know, like you're so young, like you're gonna have plenty more boyfriends like it's not the end of the world and i remember vividly telling her and she remembers till this day as well that i told her that it was because i knew that i was gonna marry jonathan <laughs> one day which is funny now but honestly there was just something about him and our relationship that i knew was what i wanted for the rest of my life i guess and i guess when you know you know i i don't think there's an adequate age to get married. I think if you feel it and you believe in your relationship, I think you should go for it. So that is why I got married young. I also moved in with Jonathan when I was 17 and something about living together for a few months without being married just didn't sit right with either of us. So we decided to elope and we actually eloped and did not tell anyone we didn't tell his family or my family his mom actually ended up finding out because um they used to live right next to us so sometimes they would pick up our mail and my new social security card came in the mail with like my new last name so i remember that day i got home from school jonathan got home from work and they were waiting for us asked us to go over sat us down and had this whole conversation with us to say the least they were quite upset that we didn't tell them but it is what it is my mom found out on thanksgiving we got married in august and my mom did not find out until thanksgiving because jonathan when we were giving grace he actually was like i'm thankful for my wife and that is when my mom knew and then my dad knew from the get-go because he was he was just the one that i wanted to i wanted him to know that i wasn't just living with jonathan i wanted him to know that i had gotten married so long story short yeah that is that is our story <laughs> um next up is 
does my husband own his own company and will i be doing youtube full-time so yes my husband does own his own uh, remodeling company he's actually becoming an llc this year which is super big and such a big milestone for him so that's exciting i am doing youtube full-time right now and i'm very very lucky and blessed and grateful that i get to do that but I don't think I'll be doing it for much longer in the sense of right now I'm taking the Google certification courses like for Google ads and so on because there's just something about putting all my eggs in one basket that doesn't sit right with me. Like I feel like I still want to have something to fall back on whether it's actually doing it for my husband. So um like him hiring me as an employee to do his like SEO and his Google ads and his marketing and all of that. I just, I don't know. I love YouTube and I love being a stay at home wife. And I think combining it with something that can help my husband's business grow is is the way to go so I'm hoping that that is the direction I'm headed towards so next questions how did you and your husband meet which I already answered and how long have we been together so if we are counting the second time we started dating since then it has been I'm 24 that was 16 we've been together for eight years and we've been married for six years going on seven so that's how long do I keep all of my decorations? Yes, I do keep all of my decorations. I get good use out of them. And if there's something that I don't want to use anymore, I either A, find someone to give them to, or I have had a few yard sales. But primarily, I have gifted them to my older sister who loves decorating her house and she appreciates the decor. So yes, I do keep my decorations. Okay, so I feel like this video is getting a bit too long, so I'm going to go ahead and finish the house in just a bit and answer the questions all at once, the ones that I still have remaining. So along with that decorating a question, somebody asked if I have a budget specifically for decorating, what I do with the items after I'm done with them, if I get more to be in tune with the next season because it seems like everybody just goes out and buys more every season so like i said if i am done with an item i either gift it to someone in my family or i have had a few yard sales so i just sell it um but other than that everything that i do keep i try to reuse as many times as i can i do obviously just circle things around my house throughout the seasons and i obviously have been purchasing a lot of new decor especially this year but I think it's because this year I really was finding my style and how I like to decorate so if you guys have noticed the past few months or seasons I have focused on like bigger investment pieces just because i know that at some point i don't want to continue purchasing decor every single season i want to have my staple pieces that i can rotate throughout the seasons and then obviously just have those smaller seasonal touches so i think this year i'm definitely going to slow down on the home decor purchases and while still focusing on creating that content with the stuff that i have um i'm not saying i'm going to stop buying home decor because i don't think i'm going to 100 percent stop but my focus is going to be on using what i've acquired throughout these past two years and yeah that's basically my plan um in regards to a budget so i don't necessarily have a budget but i do receive a like pension check from my dad from his retirement so if you don't know my dad did pass away two years ago and i receive a small check um, every single month from his retirement so i usually allocate that to home decor i am also reinvesting some of the money that i make on youtube into my channel so if i want to buy new decor or even equipment stuff like that that is where I fund my endeavors basically is just reinvesting what I'm making off of my videos back into my channel 
through the form of home decor. So again, super lucky that I get to do that and it is definitely thanks to you guys for watching my videos and supporting my channel. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And yeah, so that answers that question. Okay, this question says, what do you and Jonathan like to do when you aren't doing YouTube and what would be one place you would love to visit someday? Love your videos, you're truly one talented young lady. So thank you, thank you so much, you are so sweet. But when I'm not doing YouTube and we have some free time, there's definitely a few things we like to do. Jonathan is an avid Pokemon card collector, so we love opening Pokemon cards. We also enjoy watching either a good anime show or just TV in general, like during the nighttime when we can finally both sit down and relax. We are also into just basically anything that involves like leaving the house and going outdoors. We have a side by side so we like going and you know finding new trails, enjoying those. Um, what else? Basically anything to be honest. We enjoy doing anything together. We are very much best friends so anything that we can just enjoy together we do even shopping even going out for breakfast going out oh we love going out to eat that is one thing that we are very guilty of we go out to eat a lot but we truly do enjoy it so that is that <laughs> Okay, next up, there's a few questions. I think some I already answered, um, but the one I didn't is why I decided to make my YouTube channel in English and not Spanish given I am bilingual. And the primary reason is that I feel like I speak English so much more that it was just kind of like a natural instinct to start in English because when I first turned on my camera to film my very first video, that's just what came out and I just went along with it. So super simple answer. It's just, I think I'm more used to speaking in English than I am in Spanish and that is why. <laughs> Going along with that, um, she asked if I see myself in the horizon of filming or opening a YouTube channel in Spanish. And I've thought about this, but honestly, YouTube is a lot of work as it is. And I can't really think of a strong enough reason to open two different channels for the same type of content. Just for the sole uh, reason of like having two different languages. It's just a lot of work. And I think that's primarily why I'm not thinking about it, but who knows, maybe in the future, I do hope that you still enjoy the English content. I still love having you here, and there's always captions, of course, and if you guys comment in Spanish, I will always answer back in Spanish, so, Yes, I hope that my channel being in English doesn't deter any of you from coming back to watch my videos. Okay, I think that is basically all the questions. I did get a few about like wanting to start a YouTube channel and how I started. So I'm just going to answer those right now. And basically, if you want to start a YouTube channel, I say go for it. Do it. There is nothing to lose really. If you start and five videos down the road, you decide it's not for you. It's not for you you can simply stop it's not like when you have to go out and get a job and you know you start working and sometimes you have to stay there like YouTube if you start and you don't like it you can always just leave it um, when I started I did start just with my cam with my phone camera and I slowly upgraded to like bigger and better equipment. My first camera Jonathan bought for me when I reached 500 subscribers. So I definitely say with equipment, maybe set yourself certain goals and as you're hitting them, reward yourself with the new equipment. I think that's a really smart way of making sure that you're in it because you like it and you're willing to put in the work but you're also like slowly upgrading your quality of equipment and so on so uh, right now i use a canon 
I'll put the name on the screen because I can't remember. I think it's like the Canon M50. And then I say my most used equipment is obviously my tripod, my microphone. I will pop everything on the screen for you guys and my gimbal. So I've obviously purchased these things little by little and I think they're well worth the money. Again, if this is something you really want to do and you're committed to, definitely say go for it and you know invest in these equipments but again just set goals for yourself as you're growing on youtube i think that's the best way to go about it but i think that is everything i think that's all the questions i'm not even sure how long this video is gonna be but i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did please give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe and until my next one i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and i will see you guys in my next one Joy.